Greetings, my friends. Jimmer Linz here with your source filmmaker tip of the day. Today is tip of the day number five, and in today's tip, I am going to show you a little bit about particle systems. Uh, for those who aren't familiar with them, particle systems are all of those visual effects and all of those things that you see in any source game that is not a physics object. In other words, it is any entity or most of the entities that occur in a game that you can't interact with or have no direct in presence in the game. And most of these things are going to be things like smoke, explosions, rocket trails, uh, the metaguns, healing beam, the pyros, flames, these are all particle systems. And so they're going to be kind of cool and crucial for you to work with if you want to create source-based movies that look like gameplay. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and add a particle system to a very simple animation. First, I'm just going to create a new camera. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch back to the work camera on this for the time being. And uh, then I'm going to swap to here. What I want to do is I'm going to create a soldier running out of the spawn on Dust Bowl, firing his rockets, and then falling back in. So with that in mind, I'm going to hit record. Record, yes, yes, okay. We wait for the beeps. And then we go and run up here. Fire, 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 boom fall back and we're done and then we play and we can see that my my soldier got recorded looks like I waited a little bit after the start of the shot but that's okay so I have a recording of a soldier here and he's moving around so I am going to switch here to camera one and I can see my soldier here so the next thing I need to do is I'm going to do over here, go to the Animation Set Editor tab if it's not already open on your system, and I am going to say Create Animation Set for Existing Element. And then I am going to scroll through the Models list until I find Soldier.mdl. Note that when I select it in this list that the little um, blob, the little icon appears on this model. If I have more than one copy of the soldier or more than one soldier model spawned, I'll need to pick the right one and I'll just need to figure out which one it is by which one is clicked when I select in this list. So that's the one that I need. Go ahead and hit OK there. The next thing I need to do is create animation set for new particle system. And uh, in this case, I can pick a particle system definition file. I am going to pick a very simple one here. Uh, I am looking for nemesis.pcf, which is going to be down here a bit. And nemesis.pcf is the little star icon with the boxing gloves that appears inside a, the star that, that hovers over any character's head after you have dominated them. Uh, and, or after they've dominated you, I should say. Yeah, it's never fun to see that, but hey, there it is. That's the game for you. Uh, the particle system definition. Most of these particle systems have various flavors of the uh, of the of the particle system that might be variants. Like most of the time, it's going to be a red version and a blue version. Sometimes there will be some other modifications. As you can see here, there's four. Uh, pick the one that's most appropriate for yours. I'm just going to stick with particle nemesis blue. Start time. That automatically defaults to wherever the scrub head was in the timeline. In this case, zero. Duration is how long it runs. Uh, and lifetime is how long it will run. And it's a cooldown as well. And depending on the particle system you use, messing with these numbers can do, give you things like a cooldown period where the metagun beam flashes after doing an Uber right before it all runs out. You'll need to experiment with those because those values have different effects for different particle systems. And I don't want to get too much into the details of this because this is a tip, not a tutorial. Uh, in that level of depth. So, uh, but experiment with those. I encourage experimentation because it's a great way to learn. So I'm going to click OK. Now I have a particle system. I'm going to go here to the motion editor. And with my particle system selected, we can see uh, that the particle system, especially if I go over here and frame it, the particle system is actually to the side of the soldier. So I'm going to lift it up here a little bit. And then I am going to move it over a little bit. And you'll just need to experiment with this and move it around. You'll notice also, by the way, that the particle is not actually appearing yet. And that is expected, although not optimal. I don't like that personally, but what can you do? Uh, I think it's a bug, and I'm hoping that Valve will fix it. So what we need to do here is just move the camera around until the this particular one is hovering over this dude's head because that's where those things appear is right over the character's head and uh 
Right. So at some point, I'm just going to call this close enough for government work and be happy with it. So now I'm going to put the camera back over here. OK, now comes the magic. All right, expand your soldier model. Find bip underscore head. Expand your nemesis blue particle model here, particle nemesis blue one, and find control point zero. OK, so we're going to drag the soldier's head to control point zero. OK, now we have locked the soldier's head to the particle. That means that now the particle is connected to the soldier's head. The soldier's head is connected to the particle. Now, though, if we were to start this, the particle wouldn't move because all of its motion is offset from the soldier's motion. But if we select the particle and then at the beginning of the uh, um, of the clip where you can see I have the scrub head here and the whole all of time selected, I select the particle and then I grab the playhead preset and I drag it to the right. And here's the trick, by the way. Uh, you need to, uh, in order to make the particle appear, you need to drag it to outside of the visible area of the clip like this, and then it'll, it'll uh, be uh, connected and you'll be actually be able to see it. Uh, another way to do it is to change the camera a couple of times and eventually it'll appear. I found that it's just easiest just to drag the scrub head outside of the clip's range uh, and then back. And so now when we run this, I'm going to switch back to the follow camera so I can go and see uh, what this does while I'm running it. And we can see that the particle system now follows the soldier. Hooray. And that is how you lock a particle system to the, to the model. I'm going to change the scene camera back here to camera one because this, you could create an interesting effect this way. Or not interesting effect, but this is what I originally was thinking would be kind of cool. So I'm going to hit enter here. Go back to this, press play, and if I were to render it, this is what you would see. And the soldier comes running up and he's got the little nemesis icon on his head. So this is the kind of thing that you could do if you wanted to add a nemesis particle system to something. And this is what you would, the, the basic steps you'll need to follow to add any of the other particle systems that you would find in the uh, uh, TF materials particles folder, I believe it is. Uh, let's just double check here uh, which one it is so you know exactly where to get these items. It is going to be in Steam slash Steam apps slash common slash source filmmaker slash game slash TF slash particles. So you may need to browse to that and uh, other source games that get added to Source Filmmaker will probably have their own particles folder that you'll need to look for. Uh, so that has been your Source Filmmaker tip of the day. I am Jimmer Linz. I hope this was useful to you. Uh, it took me a while to figure out how to do it myself. And for those of you who are playing with Source Filmmaker, I can only imagine your frustration going through dealing with particle systems. Uh, so I do hope that this little tutorial and uh, being able to uh, get something out of my pain has been helpful for you. And I thank you again for watching. And I do hope you are enjoying Source Filmmaker. Have a great day.